Hello and welcome. My name is Tiana Christine and we're going to get into our 30 minute standing yoga flow. All right. So you can get a wall handy. You can have blocks, but this is going to be a completely standing flow. Are you ready? Go ahead and get your yoga mat and let's get into it. All right, let's go ahead and begin. Of course, this is gonna be our standing flow. It's gonna be 30 minutes, so this is gonna go fast. So I want you to start first by getting comfortable on your mat, getting to a nice, comfortable spot, and then just take a moment. Maybe even just allow your body to relax. Maybe allow your body to give a little shake from side to side just to really allow your body to get comfortable and maybe warm itself up, right? Because we're gonna go fast. So I want you to get nice and comfortable. You can be at the top of your mat, wherever you like, and just start to really set that intention for your day. Maybe it's an intention that you've been having in your mind, or maybe even it's an intention that's inside of the description here of this video. Whatever feels good to you, whatever the universe is calling for you today, all right? I want you to answer that call. So let's go ahead and get ourselves nice and relaxed. I want you to place the feet flat, toes tracking forward. Your hands are gonna be down by your side. Shoulders are relaxed as much as possible. Release the tension on the fingertips, maybe even shake the fingers out just to release that tension. Make sure those shoulders are nice and relaxed. Slight bend into your knees here. Just allow your body to get comfortable. We're gonna take a nice deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale, breathe out. One more inhale in. Exhale, breathe it out. Inhale, bring those arms up overhead. Gaze up towards the hands. Release the shoulders away from the ears. Maybe gaze all the way up, release the head back. On that exhale, we're gonna keep our hands overhead. We're gonna take our chin, bring it down towards the chest. Again, release that tension away from your ears. I'm gonna step back here so you can see me. Take the gaze right back up towards the hands. And take it back down towards the chest. Take the gaze back to neutral, release the hands, roll out the wrist on the way down. You got this. Let's just go ahead and give our bodies a little rock from side to side. Release that tension in the lower back. All right, maybe even turn your head towards the directions of your hands. You got it? All right, let's come to the top of our mat. I want you to release your body Allow those feet to be hip distance apart if they're not already. All right, I want you to bend those knees. So bend your knees. We're going to place our hands onto our thigh and we're going to do a standing cat cow. All right. And you know, I like to do cow cat. So I'm going to demonstrate from the side so you can see we're going to have a bend into our knees. Hands are going to be on the thighs. We're going to bring the chest forward. Inhale in. On that exhale, arch the spine, tuck the chin into the chest, tuck the tailbone under, and release, reverse, and for your cat pose, release, this is a little bit of a squat action, as well as those cow cats, and one more full one here. I want you to bring yourself to stand when you're done. Inhale, bring those arms up overhead. And exhale, just allow the body to hang forward. Forward fold. Now this is our first forward fold of our practice, so I really want you to just settle in here. Allow your body to fully relax. Maybe even shake your head yes and no. Just fully allow your body to get comfortable. Even release the tension on the hands. Just allow your body to forward fold. Nice, generous bend into the knees. Maybe you rock it a little from side to side. Mm -hmm. 
We're going to place those hands down towards the feet. Maybe you have your hands on blocks. If you have your hands towards your feet and it's comfortable for you to take your hands, place them up underneath of your feet, feel free to do so. And walk the hands in so the toes come towards the ankles. Again, that nice generous bend into the knees. Relax the head. Press the toes into the wrists. Maybe into the pads of the hands. Allow your body to fully relax here. Wherever you are, soften your neck, your lower back. Take one more full cycle of breath. As gently as we came in, we'll begin to release our hands if you've binded your hands. We're going to begin to press into the feet as we gently curl all the way up. Bring the arms up overhead, slight back bend here. On that exhale, take a nice mountain pose here. Just allow your body to relax, maybe shake it out. Oof. Because that forward fold might have been intense. Now remember, we're going to do a full standing practice. So we are not going to get on the floor. So I want you to come to the top of your mat. We are going to do a little bit of a different sun salutation here. So bring those arms up overhead. Exhale and forward fold again. Slight bend into the knees. Let's take a flat back. And let's step our right foot back come to our pyramid pose here so you can gently turn that back foot out allow those hips to be nice and even allow the head to come towards the knee release the shoulders take a second and breathe we're going to take a flat back in our pyramid pose allow yourself to forward fold again and then we're going to push all the way up, bringing both arms up overhead. On that exhale, bring the hands down as we step that back foot forward. Pedal your feet. All right, we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So you know where we're going. You know how to do it. Inhale, bring those arms up overhead. Exhale and forward fold. Let's step the left foot back. Again, we're here in our pyramid pose. So it's not that far back. You can balance yourself here and even out those hips. Allow your head to come towards that front knee. Now remember you're thinking train track, so feel free to widen that stance if that feels good. Release the tension on the shoulders. Take one more full cycle of breath as we take a flat back pyramid pose. And on that exhale, let's lower ourselves all the way back down again. Press into the feet as we bring both arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the hands down, step the back foot forward, pedal your feet. How are we feeling? All right. Let's take this a little bit further, all right? So instead of doing our pyramid pose, we're gonna take our lunge. So inhale, bring those arms up overhead. Exhale, let's go ahead and forward fold. Let's step it back for a nice high crescent lunge. So I want you to step into that position here. Nice high crescent lunge. You got this. Release the shoulders away from the ears. We have both toes tracking forward. On that exhale, let's spin the back heel down, open it out, warrior two. Now readjust your body, bend into your front knee. I'm gonna step forward here and come on my mat just a little bit more to help with grip. Bend into that front knee, knee right over ankle. Inhale, let's reverse. Exhale and side angle. Inhale, let's reverse. Exhale, side angle. We're gonna come right back into that lunge position. So spin that back foot. Come right back into that high crescent lunge. We're gonna place our hands down as we transition. We're gonna step the back foot forward. 
come back into our mountain pose here. How did that feel? Let's do the same thing on the opposite side. So again, bring the arms up. Exhale and forward fold. We're going to step the opposite leg back this time. Opposite leg comes back. Once you get grounded, we're going to go ahead and come up for our high crescent lunge. Again, bend into that front knee. Allow the body to be nice and stable here. If you feel that hip starting to come out, just go ahead and tap it back in. And we're going to exhale, open out warrior two. Inhale, let's reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale and reverse. You got this. Exhale, side angle. Inhale and reverse. And let's bring it back to our high crescent lunge. So spin that back heel. Again, maintain that bend into your front knee. Bring those arms up. Allow those shoulders to relax. We're going to bring those hands down onto the thigh. Use that as a way to push ourselves up. Come back to your mountain pose. Pedal your feet. All right, that felt good. All right, let's go ahead and step it out to the side of our mat. I want those heels to be in, toes to be out. We're going to go ahead and take a little bend here. Check in with your body. See how your body feels with just this pose here. This could be a lot right here. Maybe you'd like to take it a little bit deeper. And then let's go ahead and stand. All right, let's go ahead and sink it right back in, sink it down. But this time we're gonna add our goal post arms here. Breathe, lift through the chest. Exhale, stand, lower the hands down. Inhale in, exhale, let's go ahead and squat back in, bring those arms right back up. Breathe. Exhale, let's go ahead and stand, allow the body and the hips to move. We're gonna do one more just like that, but we're gonna hold it a little bit more. So inhale in, exhale, squat. Let's go ahead and bring those hands out. Now you're welcome to stay right here just like this. Or maybe you'd like to take one heel up, take it down. Other heel comes up. Maybe we like to take both heels up. Squat down a little bit more. You got this. Five, four, hold on to it. Three, two, one. Lower the heels. Straighten the arms and the legs. Rock it out. Whew. All right, bring those arms up overhead. Exhale and forward fold. We're gonna bring those toes to track forward. Let's go ahead and forward fold here. Release the tension on the lower back. You got this. Walking our hands over towards our right foot. We're gonna do a little reverse twist here. So take that front hand, bring it towards the toe. We're gonna sweep that back hand towards the hip. Look behind us. Again, you can also do this on a block. Maybe even extend that back hand if that feels good. Come back to center. Take a full cycle of breath. Come back to the other opposite side. And again, you can always go ahead and reverse into that twist. If it feels good, you can extend that back hand. On that exhale, bring the hand back down, come back to center. Let's go ahead and take our hands onto our hips. 
press into the feet. Gently begin to rise all the way up. Go ahead and give those hips a little rock from left to right. You got it. All right. I want you to begin to turn towards the front of your mat. So turn that front toe. Turn your front toe. Pivot your back foot. That back heel is back forward. We're back into that lunge position. Bend into your front knee. Go ahead and add the arms. Take a moment here. We're gonna to begin to bring those hands to come down onto the thigh. Remember we were here before, but this time we're gonna go ahead and push off, come to our warrior three. Push off, you can take those hands behind you. You can take the hands out in front. You can hold on to something, whatever feels good to you. Just allow your body to go ahead and get into that perfect position. Whatever perfect look, looks like for you. Take one more full cycle of breath. If you fall, come right back, it's okay. On that exhale, let's come right back into that lunge. Let's step it back. Exhale, let's take the hands down. Let's twist it right back to the center. How are we feeling? We're feeling good? Let's do the other side, all right? So let's turn the back toe out towards the side. Let's spin the opposite heel. We're in the lunge in this position. All right, we did our lunges. We know where we're going. We bring our arms overhead first. Get nice and balanced, nice and controlled here. Let's take one full cycle of breath. Let's bring the hands down. And you know we're ready to fly. Bring it up. Sometimes it's different on the other side. So don't beat yourself up. Give yourself that grace. You got it even when I turn, right? I have to put the heel down. All right, you focus. We focus from the foot. We have our gaze neutral. You can bring your arms or hands wherever you'd like. Whatever feels good to you. Take one more full cycle of breath. That toe points down. On that exhale, let's step it back into that high crescent lunge. Let's go ahead and bring it back to center. Bring the hands down. Take a rock from left to right. All right. Let's heel toe our feet together or bend the knees and jump it, jump it together. All right, let's hug our right hand to our chest. Give ourselves a moment. Ooh, this is, this is now even taking a little bit of balance for me right here. Roll out your ankle. Roll it out. Roll it the opposite way. All right, let's go ahead and grab that foot. Let's drop the knee. Ooh, I'm still feeling a little out of balance here. You got that? All right, take a moment. See what feels good for you. Release your shoulders. Maybe both hands are down. Just take a moment, trying to get that knee to relax. Trying to get that hip to open out. Let's see if we can take this stretch a little bit deeper. We're gonna go ahead and cross that foot over. Take a bend into that knee. It's all right if you wobble. We're gonna squat down. We're in our half chair here. Maybe you can take those hands to heart center if it serves you. Take one more full cycle of breath. On that exhale, straighten and lower the foot. Pedal the foot out. Whew. All right, you know we got one more side. You got this? All right, let's go ahead and balance first. Let's bring that opposite uh, knee into the chest. Get yourself nice and balanced here. Roll out your ankle. Opposite way. All right, and let's grab the foot and let's bring the knee down. All right, how are we doing? 
Go ahead and release the tension on that knee and the hip. Take one more full cycle of breath. Maybe you'd like to take that chair pose on this side. We go ahead and bring ourselves into that kneeling or squat. Maybe you take those hands to heart center. If you fall, you come right back, that's okay. Grip your toe into the mat. All those toes that are down on the mat, grip them in. Breathe. Take one more full cycle of breath. On that exhale, let's lower the leg and the hands. Shake it out. Bring the arms up overhead. We're gonna hold on to one wrist here. Doesn't matter which side and whichever way the hand is pointing, let's go ahead and lean towards in that direction. Maybe we gaze up towards that elbow. Take it back to center, let's swap the wrist and hinge over to the opposite side. Gaze up. Take one more full cycle of breath. And release. Roll, roll it out. All right, so we brought our knee in. Can we take our knee the opposite way? So feel free if you'd like to grab onto a wall or a chair. I want you to get nice and comfortable here. We're gonna start with that right foot. So go ahead and bend the knee or bend the, the foot, we're gonna go ahead and bend the knee back. You can grab onto the foot, bring the knee back down in place. Ooh, today is not a balance day for me. <laughs> Hopefully it is for you. All right, we're gonna focus on that dristy point, something that is not moving. We're gonna try to get as straight as we can, bringing those hips back into place. Yes, you got this. Just allow that knee to come right back down. Feel that hamstring start to stretch. Those quads, I'm sorry. <laughs> Feel those quads. Take one more full cycle of breath. Let's release the foot nice and slow. Let the foot fall nice and relaxed. Shake it out. All right. Let's do the same thing on the opposite side. So again, setting that dristy point, get nice and comfortable, hold on to a wall if you need to. I'm gonna go ahead and bend the foot first. Once you get stable, we're gonna go ahead and bend that knee back, grab the foot however you'd like, and let's go ahead and take that knee back down. Again, you can grip those toes into the mat. Go ahead and get yourself nice and even here. Again, if balance is not the word of the day, that's okay. You can always grab a wall. You can always extend your hand out, whatever feels good to you. Take one more full cycle of breath. Maybe bring that heel in a little bit closer to the glute. And on that exhale, let's release the foot, let it down nice and relaxed. Breathe here. Shake it out. I want you to go ahead and step the feet out nice and wide. The heels are gonna be in, toes are gonna be out. I want you to take a moment, take those hands onto your hips. I want you to press the hips forward. Press your hips forward. Press your hips over to the right side. Press the hips back. Press the hips to the left and press it back forward. We're gonna come right back to that left side. Press the hips back and right side and forward. Go ahead and release, rock it out in a circle. Lower the hands. I want you to take a moment Get nice and grounded here. Maybe you point those toes towards the front of the mat. Maybe you give yourself a wide, wide stance. However that feels good to you. 
So again, if you want to get nice and wide, heel toe, those feet out. We're going to inhale, take those arms up overhead. Exhale, nice and slow, we're going to begin to forward fold. Nice and slow, bring the hands down. Begin to hinge at the hip, hinge at the hips, nice and slow. Begin to bring the head towards the knees. Relax the hands towards the mat. I want you to take three breaths here in your forward fold. Shift the weight into the balls of your feet. Allow your body to get nice and comfortable. Take one more full cycle of breath. On that next exhale, let's go ahead and press into the feet. Rise all the way up. Maybe you take that inhale, bring those arms up overhead. And exhale, take it down. I want you to rest right here. I want you to take that moment. Maybe you bring those heels in a little bit. Maybe you point the toes out for balance. I want you to give yourself a moment to be still right here. I want you to take one hand, place it on your belly. Take one hand, place it on your chest. Just notice how your body feels in this moment. Maybe you don't want to change how it is. It's okay. If your body is feeling a little bit all over the place, that's okay. Maybe that heart rate is starting to come down and you've noticed that. So together, I want us to take a nice deep inhale in. And exhale out. Allow your body to be nice and still and calm. Feeling your toes root into the mat. Feeling the heels melt and root into the mat. Release the tension to bring those knees towards each other. Relax your knees. Release the glutes. Allow that back to relax. If you've tucked your tailbone, gently release it out. I want you to feel the breath moving in and out through your belly. Just allow those shoulders to relax. Unclench your jaw. Maybe gaze down or close your eyes if that feels good. And we're going to take three breaths and maybe those breaths are going to make it all the way up towards our chest. So we're going to inhale in, feel the breath rise through the belly, maybe up towards the chest, exhale out. Two more, inhale in. Exhale out. Last one, let's make it count. Inhale in. And exhale, sigh it out. I want you to thank yourself for showing up for you today. I want you to thank your body for showing up for you. And I thank you for allowing me to be a part of your day. I want you to take this energy with you off the mat and share it with others because energy is infectious and we want to share the good stuff. Until next time, can't wait to practice with you again. Namaste. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this class. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Same time, same place, every Saturday. Yoga with Tiana.